if I do this in more segments, you can separate it better, so I probably might turn it off and turn it on sometimes. Hi, patient, how are you? Good. Good. I'm going to bring your wheelchair a little bit closer, so if you could either raise your feet up. If she couldn't, I would put her feet onto the footrest. And I have you lock your wheels. Okay. The distance that you want from here to the wheelchair should be about six inches or so. If I get her too close and I bring these um, armrests up here, when she goes to get up, her arm's going to hit against this. Okay. So I don't want her to be too close. I also don't want her so far away that she can't get to the parallel bars. Okay. So usually about six inches from the end of this to the beginning of where her armrest. Okay, we're going to do a couple of things today, patient. Back, I want you to get up and moving around. So um, I need to demonstrate some things for you before I get you up. You remember what the four things are to demonstrate? How to, get up from the chair. How to get up from the chair. How to turn at the end. How to turn to get back into the chair. And the gate pad. Okay. So what you're going to be doing in just a minute is I'm going to get up from the chair. To do that, I'm going to have you slide forward a little bit, uh, and then we're going to do like a one, two, three, and stand up. When we do that, I'm going to put my knee in front of your strong leg. This is where they say this is your bad leg. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put my knee in front of your strong leg, and we're going to stand up. And the first time I get you up, I'm going to have you do just a couple of squats to make sure that you're comfortable and that you can hold your weight okay on that leg. Okay. okay. Um, once we do that, um, so it's getting up from the chair. Once we do that, you're going to walk down the parallel bars here and doctor has said not to put any weight on this leg so what you're going to be doing is you're going to bring your hands forward and then just bring your hips in between your hands hands forward hips between your hands just like that when you get down to the end okay, you're going to turn toward your strong side that's important because we tend to lean toward that leg when we turn as you get going with your crutches later you'll be getting faster and faster so get in the habit now of turning toward your strong side one hand backward one hand forward Turn part way. I'll slide behind you at that point. And then one hand here, one hand over here, and turn some more. Okay. Don't have the patient try to put both hands here and lift their body weight up with one bar. They should have their hands kind of separated under both bars when they're moving their body. Okay. All right, so then you'll do that same walking pattern coming back, hands forward, step to the chair. Once you get up close to the chair, it's going to be safest for you to turn so that your strong leg is toward the wheelchair. And when I was at that end, which leg was toward the wheelchair? The back or the weak leg. Okay, here's my weak leg, here's my strong leg. So down here, when I turned toward my strong side, that actually put my strong leg toward the wheelchair. When I get down here, I'm turning the other way, I'm turning toward my weak side it still puts my strong leg toward the wheelchair so that's an easy way for you to remember it okay down there and down here it's always the strong leg toward the wheelchair okay um, so when you get to the wheelchair here you're going to do the same thing you turn in this direction I'm going to turn and face you so you don't have to look at me mm -hmm. um, you'll take your sore leg you put it forward you lean your shoulders forward and reach for the armrest and you'll sit on the front of the chair okay then I can help you with your leg when you switch back okay so we're gonna get up Walk to the end, turn toward your strong side, come back, turn with your strong side toward the chair, and have a seat. Okay. All right. All right, here is a thing that I think uh, mm -hmm. you have to put it on, or you want me to put it on you? Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Where does the gate belt need to be? Between the rib cage and kind of the top of the hip. It doesn't match with the compliments you should get. Oh. Okay. I don't have anything else. Here. <laughs> okay, when I first get her up, you, you heard me tell her I'm going to have her do just a couple of squats. Mm -hmm. That's important just to make sure that that strong leg can take the weight before we get all the way down to the other end of the parallel bars. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and switch forward. Okay, so this is your non leg coming up there. Yeah. Go ahead and put that leg out forward. Okay, and once we stand up, remember no weight on that leg. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have you bring this leg back a little bit. Okay, and we're going to go on three. Okay. Um, you can put your hands here. If you can do it down there, that's even better. So okay. whichever's comfortable for you. Okay. On three. One, two, here we go. Three. 
beautiful, okay? I'm keeping my knee block there. I can back off a little bit, but if she started to go down right now, go ahead and start to get up. I can push her back, okay? All right, so I'm gonna have you do just a couple of squats. So we're gonna go down a little. She needs to do one more. Okay, she's proven herself to me. I know she can lift her body weight up with that strong leg so I can get her in a better position. Okay, it doesn't matter which way she turns for this. I'll have you turn toward the parallel bar so I can slide behind you. Okay. And I'm keeping one hand on the gate belt at all times. Okay, I'm going to turn back from her in a minute. Okay, you're going to go ahead and bring your hands forward. Okay. And you'll bring your hips in between the hands. She's kind of already progressed. That's okay as long as she's under control. She's kind of gone to a swing through rather than a swing two, so that's fine. Okay, and now I'm going to have you turn. Patient, do you remember which way you're going to turn? Okay. Right, toward your strong side. So I'm going to bring this hand back. Okay. Just bring my leg forward and turn that way. I'm going to have you shift forward so I can get behind oh, you. Shift, shift, shift. Okay, and you continue turning. Good job keeping that foot off the ground. We'll talk about hand positions when we get to the, the gate section of this unit. Beautiful. Okay, go up a little bit closer to the wheelchair. And then this time you're going to turn again so your strong side is toward the chair. So go ahead and turn. If you picture, if she had a long leg cast on and I sat her all the way back in the chair, what's going to happen? Like yep, it's going to go boing, and it's going to kick me. Okay. All right. Okay. And then if I had an elevating leg rest, I can turn that up if she had like a long leg cast on. Okay, does that make sense? All the words that we said before, now that you've seen them? Okay, let's head back over to the other side. Thank you very much again. Yeah.